Animal experimentation, despite its substantial and well-earned controversy, has widely impacted modern medicine's understanding of physiology, genetics, and disease. In spite of these scientific gains, animal testing has been regarded as unethical at times. Would you like to know some of the craziest cases of animal experimentation? Keep watching this video to find out more about these. You're watching Top 10 World, and in today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of the craziest animal experimentation done throughout history. Let's start off by discussing some of the cases. First up is the case of a multi-dog. In the 1950s, a Soviet scientist named Vladimir Demikov pioneered the field of organ transplantation using dogs. In one famous experiment, he fashioned a multi-dog, surely one of the most mind-boggling creatures ever created by man. День трансплантологии. В 1954 году он вновь заглядывает в будущее. Ему удается сделать. According to Time magazine, Demikov removed most of the body of a small puppy and grafted the head and forelegs to the neck of an adult dog. The big dog's heart pumped blood enough for both heads. Remarkably, both dogs kept their own personalities post surgery. Unfortunately, the experiment wasn't a total success. After six days of life together, both heads and the common body died. Next up is the ear mouse, or the Vicanti mouse. In a list of freakish animals, who could forget little ear mouse? The ear emerging from this lab rodent's back heard nothing. It was actually just an ear-shaped tissue structure grown by seeding human cartilage cells into biodegradable mold. He doesn't seem to mind that he has an ear growing on his back. No, he knows he's here for a... The Vicanti mouse, as it's more formally known, was endowed with its ear by Dr. Charles Vacanti, a transplant surgeon, and his colleagues at Massachusetts General Hospital. They performed the stunt in 1995 to demonstrate a potential method of cartilage transplantation into human patients. Let's now take a look at this huge animal hybrid, the Liger. Not all strange animal experiments result in hideous monstrosities. Take Ligers, for example. The magnificent offspring of male lions and female tigers to take an interspecies shine to one another when their paths cross in captivity. The resulting genetic cocktail cooks up a giant. At more than 900 pounds and 12 feet long, ligers are the largest cats on earth, weighing almost 100 times more than house cats and almost twice as much as either Panthera tigris or Panthera leo. Aside from spurring inexplicably gargantuan growth, Hybrid vigor also makes these beasts healthier and sometimes longer living than their parents. Adding to the genetic mystery of why ligers grow so large, tigans, hybrids born to male tigers and female lions, exhibit no such anomaly. They're just tiger-sized. This next experiment will certainly take you aback. Next, we'll be taking a look at a robot monkey. Yes, a robot monkey. In 2010, neurobiologists at the University of Pittsburgh taught a monkey to control an advanced robotic arm with its mind. They gave the monkey two brain implants, one each in the hand and arm areas of its motor cortex. These monitored the firing of motor neurons and sent the information to a computer, which translated the patterns into commands for the robotic arm. As a result, the monkey was able to manipulate the arm, which had no less than seven degrees of freedom with its thoughts alone. It learned to use it to reach for food pellets, press buttons, and twist knobs. The scientists weren't just monkeying around. Their work could lead to brain-machine interfaces that will allow paralyzed people to operate advanced prosthetics with their minds, just as the rest of us move our fleshier limbs. We're all familiar with drugs and how they affect people, but have you ever wondered how these drugs affect Spiders? Well, NASA has you covered. In 1995, NASA scientists studied the effects of various common drugs on the weaving abilities of spiders. They thought it might be possible to analyze the periodic structure, or lack thereof, of the drug-spun spider webs as a means of determining the relative toxicity levels of the drugs. Nothing much came of the effort, though perhaps owing to the difficulty of extrapolating a given chemical's toxicity to humans from its toxicity to arachnids. That said, there did seem to be similarities between the drug's effects on the two species. When given a minute dose of LSD, the spider's web took on an unfamiliar. According to researchers, the spider that was high on marijuana did a fair job weaving, but then got bored or distracted and didn't finish. The one on speed went really fast, 
but without much awareness of the overall picture, it left large gaps. The acid-tripping spider wove a psychedelic, symmetrical web that was very pretty, but not great at catching bugs. That brings us to caffeine. Looking at the picture, clearly the caffeinated spider did horribly, and this might point to the gulf that exists between humans and arachnids. If I were a web-weaving spider, that picture would definitely correspond to pre-coffee weaving, not post. This next experiment is just not needed, ever, but it was still conducted. Let's take a look at what it is. Scientists tried to create a human Z. Russian biologist Ilya Ivanovich Ivanov, using a grant from the Soviet government, sought to create a hybrid of a human and a chimpanzee, colloquially known as the human Z, in an African lab in 1926. First, he tried to impregnate chimps with human fluids. When this failed, he planned to inseminate human women with chimp fluids. Ivanov did manage to find a few women willing to carry a chimp baby, but all of his chimps passed in transit, and he passed in 1932 as a result of a purge of scientists. This experiment is rather interesting. A chimpanzee was raised like a human child. While there are many accounts of children raised by animals, in 1931, psychologist Winthrop Kellogg speculated what would happen if an animal was brought up by humans to behave as a human. Kellogg brought a baby female chimpanzee named Gua into his home and raised her as if she were human, giving her the same care as their infant son, Donald. Donald and Gua were siblings in every sense except species classification. They played together, ate together, and took the same developmental tests. While Gua performed well on the tests, she couldn't acquire language skills and impaired Donald's development in the process. The Kelloggs ended the experiment after nine months, possibly because baby Donald began imitating Gua's chimp noises. Gua was released into an animal colony, but passed only months after she left the family's home. Lastly, sheep were given substances and tasered. Taser International funded a 2010 study designed to determine whether taser hits can cause cardiac arrest in people under the influence of crystal. To test this scenario, they enlisted 16 sheep whom they anesthetized after getting them intoxicated on an IV drip of methamphetamine hydrochloride. The results of the study, highly biased and morally ambiguous as it may have been, revealed that the smaller sheep may have had minor heart symptoms from the crystal, but none suffered any damage from the taser itself. 